Let's talk tires. Welcome back to Aviator Inspirations, where I take the mystery out of the aviation industry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future episodes. On this episode, I'm gonna teach you what you need to know about aircraft tires, specifically on the Dash 8 Q400 aircraft, and what pilots look for when we do our walk around. Recently, there's been a lot of media coverage about blown tires, and I think it's important for everyone to have a deeper understanding about how they work. So let's start with the big picture and work our way down to the details. The Dash 8 has six tires, two on each main landing gear and two on the nose gear. The landing weight of a Q400 is 62,000 pounds, so the tires have to be able to withstand that impact on landing and be able to carry that load when we taxi. That's why there are two tires per main landing gear and of course for safety and redundancy. To ease everyone's mind, the airplane can land on a single tire and that's what would happen if we had a blown tire on takeoff and didn't have time to reject. Then it would be quite safe to come in and do a landing on that one remaining tire. Of course before the next flight, pilots do what's called a walk around where we visually inspect the aircraft including the tires to prevent anything from happening during takeoff. We start by having a general look at the tire. Does it look flat? Are there any cuts or damage that we can see? How is the tread? Are there any bold spots? All these things tell us the health of the tire and if there's anything that we need to report to maintenance. A tire should look nice and full and symmetrical. One tire should not look bigger than the other. If it does, that means there could be an incorrect pressure. The normal tire of a Q400 main landing gear is 140 PSI. The tire should also have some tread left and have no bold spots. As well, if the tire is starting to show the cord, which is the layer underneath the tread, then it's time to replace the tire. We also need to check for cuts and gouges because they can create weak spots in the structure of the tire. Or if the gouge is deep enough, then it could be penetrating the layer underneath. All these things are important for us to notice while we are still on the ground and not barreling down the runway at 120 knots. The next important thing to check are the brakes. What's the point of having good tires if you can't stop the aircraft? Just like most cars, the brakes on an airplane are disc brakes. Of course, they're a lot more heavy duty. The Q400 makes checking your brakes extremely easy. They have what's called a wear indicator. It's a simple pin that sticks out and shows you how much life is left in your brake pads. When the pin is out and it's very long, that means you have a lot of brake pad left. But when the pin starts getting short, then it's time to start thinking about changing the brakes. Of course, maintenance keeps track of all this, but it's our job as pilots to double check everything and make sure nothing is missed, because it's easier to deal with this on the ground than having to deal with an emergency in the air. Lastly, we check the condition of the hydraulic lines. The brakes on a Q400 are actuated hydraulically when we step on the brake pedals in the flight deck, just like in your car. We visually check the condition of these hydraulic lines and whether there are any leaks. If there are, they have to get fixed immediately, otherwise the airplane is not going anywhere. We also have a hydraulic indication in the flight deck, so if a leak develops in the air, we will know about it. Pilots do this walk around after each landing, because it's important to catch something on the ground before the next flight. If you as a passenger ever notice something out of the ordinary about the airplane that you're flying on, never hesitate to bring it to the attention of the cabin crew. You are an extra set of eyes that could help prevent a disaster. Just like the lady who threw change in a jet engine for good luck, a passenger noticed it and quickly informed the flight crew. When it comes to safety, we all have to work together. I hope you now have a better understanding and appreciation of aircraft tires. If there are any other systems about airplanes or specifically the Q400 you want me to cover, leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next episode.